Unit calibration for 82 plus. The unit must be calibrated with the first pulmonary function test of the day, after every significant temperature change and after changing the sensor. The calibration screen is displayed by pressing Alt 8. This screen will indicate the last calibration date, the calculated BTPS, which is the value that compensates for the difference in inhaled and exhaled humidity, the calibration factor, which is the calculated value between the measured and effective calibration air volume, the ambient temperature, which must be derived from a digital thermometer and not the room thermostat. Keep in mind that the temperature that is already in the temperature field is not always accurate. The measured volume is the air volume measured by the system for the calibration pump. Finally, the reference volume is the entered air volume depending on the size of the calibration pump. To calibrate the unit, make sure you input the correct ambient temperature and press the auto start key. Pump between 4 to 9 liters of air through the sensor and make sure to adjust the reference volume based on how many liters were pumped. Make sure the sensor is kept still during the pumping operation. While pumping, the unit records the volume being pumped through the flow sensor and indicates it on the display under measured volume. Press the stop key when finished pumping. Enter the reference volume and press the enter key to confirm. The message calibration complete will appear on the display. If the message excessive deviation or change the filter appears on the screen after calibration, recheck the temperature setting, the syringe volume, and the entered syringe volume. If all the input information is correct, then change the disposable mouthpiece and recalibrate. Before recalibrating, the stored calibration values must be reset. To do this, press the Alt key and 1. Press the Print Copy key to obtain a printout of the calibration report with measurement details, time, and date of calibration, and a graphical